the rest of the story. Enterprise, Alabama, 90 miles south of Montgomery, on Highway 84, population 17,500, give or take a few. The city government is comprised of a mayor and five councilmen. Now, there is a cross-section of schools and churches. In fact, Enterprise, Alabama is about as close to a typical southern town as you'll ever get, except for one thing, the monument. That monument is the main attraction in Enterprise. Unveiled in December 11, 1919, it honors a most significant character in the history of the territory, the Mexican immigrant who brought prosperity to Coffee County. If you're ever driving through town, you'll want to visit that shrine. But if you don't like surprises, and I mean real surprises, then <laughs> maybe you'd better listen to the rest of the story. Coffee County, Alabama. It might have been called Cotton County because, indeed, it used to be that was the only crop grown thereabouts, cotton. Cotton was the economy of Coffee County. When cotton boomed, business boomed. When the cotton market was off or when the crop proved poor, business suffered accordingly. From the close of the Uncivil War through the summer of 1914, the farmers in that area did not really have much to worry about. Some seasons were better than others, and that was about it. But then came the summer of 1915, very hot, very humid. The cotton crop yielded only 60% of what had been expected. Undaunted, the farmers prepared for a bumper crop the following year. They put their hearts and their minds and their backs into it, all for nothing. In 1916, less than a third of what would have been a normal crop was harvested. So... Now everyone in Coffee County, from the town of Enterprise to the tiniest one-mule farm, faced bankruptcy. Next year, inevitably, there would be no cotton crop. So what could the county folk do? Because of the prosperity cotton had brought them in the past, there had never been a need to plant other crops. But now, with a path of ruin behind them and before them, it was time to try. The townspeople of Enterprise scraped and sacrificed to finance the planters. With everyone in debt, credit was extended in all directions. New seeds, new equipment would be required. The farmers would have to be supported until the new crops came in. It was a most anxious time. And yet, when the new crops did come, the corn, the potatoes, the peanuts, the sugar cane, there followed a prosperity the likes of which Coffee County had never seen. One by one, the debts disappeared. The cash was rolling in. The backers who'd gone into hock to finance the planters were wealthier than before. And no part of this wondrous dream would have come true had the citizens of coffee not been inspired by that Mexican immigrant. And to this day, his likeness stands atop a towering monument in Enterprise, Alabama, and the inscription reads, in profound appreciation. For once upon a time, in the late summer of 1915, a little bug, a little bug migrated from Mexico to Coffee County, and he wiped out all of the cotton. And because he did, the farmers were forced into unprecedented prosperity through a diversity of crops growing other things than cotton. And that's what the magnificent statue is all about. In honor of the Mexican bull weevil, the only monument in the world glorifying a pest. And now you know the rest of the story.